guys going? Good, good. I have this to offer you. And this is? This is the earliest sticker sealed Super Mario Brothers Nintendo game. That's pretty amazing. I know some of them go for a lot of money. Chubb. What? Can you come over in here and help me for a moment? What's up, Rick? OK, um, the guy has a, I guess this is a really early one. The earliest print of still sealed a Super Mario Brothers in existence. Oh, wow. Mind if I take a look? Absolutely, sure. Oh, this is the, yeah, this isn't the shrink wrap version. This is the sticker stilled version, which I don't know too much about, but I, I know these are pretty rare. This one also happens to be an incredibly high grade. Even if the other ones are found, there's no way it's going to come close to this condition. All right. All right. How much do you want for it? It's a piece of history. It's something that's that's hard for me to part with, but I would sell it for a million dollars. A million dollars? Yep. All right. Um, it's a lot of money for a video game. I agree. It is a lot of money. I, I know there's video game collecting going on. I know I've seen some recent auctions where I was sort of shocked when, like, there's some video games sold for $29,000 sure. just the cartridges. But I didn't know the market exists for six-figure games, much less a million-dollar game. From all my research, WADA is the company that grades these. These are the ones you trust. So I'm actually going to go call them up and see if I can get one of their guys down here. I would really like to get their opinion, but you know, no offense. I mean, I just never heard of a video game going for a million dollars, and I just don't know if that exists or not. Okay, I, I will be um, right back. Okay. I think Mario hit him on the head with a pipe wrench. <laughs> so he wants a million dollars for this thing, which I think is insane. Yeah, I remember it, and I know why he's asking astronomical money on this one. This is probably the most significant piece of video game history that's ever passed through our grading company. Okay, and he also said that this was the best condition. Yeah, so what makes this special, there's a lot of different indicators. First, you're going to see this sticker, so it's not shrink wrapped. It's from the test market launch of the NES, as far as we know, which was only in No one even knew who Nintendo was. But back then, they were just another company. Once they started mass producing these and sending them across the country, they had to have something that would last on the shelves longer, which is also why seeing this in this condition is just, it's, it's a complete anomaly. This is the second print, and it's the earliest known. There's no other second prints or even first prints known that are still sealed. So we don't know the exact number of copies that were printed in the first test market launch, but we're estimating it's somewhere around the 10,000 print run. And how many of those survived sealed? One, as far as we know. So if this went into an auction today, your estimate would be? 
It's really hard to tell. It hasn't sold on the open market. As video games are starting to be viewed more as art and history, not just these relics of nostalgia, this is it. This is the one that started it all. It's got the trifecta. It's got rarity. It's got popularity. Everyone knows Mario, and it's got significance to collectors. Um, but, you know, with, with, with things like this, it's, it's high risk, high reward. I know of firm offers that have been turned down at $300,000 goes up from there there's no ceiling really okay i learned a lot today absolutely yeah. my pleasure anytime good luck thank you at first i thought you were crazy uh, <laughs> i'm literally a little bit shocked and a little bit speechless but realistically what do you want for it i'm, I'm asking a million dollars there's a big business in these right here and i just uh been looking into maybe getting into it a little bit but I'm not going to get into it with this kind of figures to start with. I understand. Okay. I understand. Um, so um, have a great day. I learned a lot. And um, obviously, I have a lot of research to do. <laughs> well, thank you for your time. I appreciate it. It's good I to meet you. Good, man. Thank you. I'm OK that no offer was made. I'm happy to keep the game. And uh, keep the history, so. He was going to buy it for a million dollars. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm happy to have it in my collection. 